Another day, the same routine for Malcolm Page, except this time he's rigging up with a new partner. A change that was forced upon the 36-year-old after long-term teammate Nathan Wilmot decided to retire with Olympic gold around his neck. He never consulted me, but um, you know, I let the time pass after the games, let the emotion die down, and I still had the... Uh, the fire, so to speak, in the valley. So late last year, Page linked up with long-term rival Matthew Belcher, one of the men he beat for last year's Beijing berth. But there's no animosity, just one vision towards London in 2012. To win a medal would, just, would be unreal. Um, and to be able to have the opportunity to, for Malcolm to, to set Australian sailing history and winning two Olympic golds, um, is, is a fantastic opportunity. Although Malcolm and Matthew have known each other for years, joining forces in the boat has been like forming a new relationship. And so far, it's been nothing but smooth sailing. Matt's more talkative, uh, so that's that's been good. And um, I suppose the areas that have, of the sailing that I thought would take some time to build, we've actually come out and, and I, I suppose hit a good level straight up. It's a new, it's a new partnership, it's a new relationship together. Um, we spend a, a lot of time together. Um, the boat is small, so there's, you know, there's no escaping. The pair have already won gold in the opening World Cup event in Melbourne this year and took first place in the Australian Championships. A strong start, they plan to punctuate with one flying finish. We, we would trade in any regatta win, any any World Championship along the way for that Olympic, uh, Olympic gold at the end. The next leg of their long campaign is a World Cup meet in Holland. Scott McKinnon for Sports Tonight.